Alright, the story of Templeton Rye might be bullshit, but our review is gonna be real. Welcome back to Brolic Whiskey. I'm MetaHuman Dave. Just Mike. He's a little on the sick side, but we're gonna man up. We're gonna get through this. So, Mike, what do you think of this color? The color looks great. I'm not really? Gonna lie. I think you don't think that looks radioactive? Well, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a nice color. Uh, <laughs> the bottle's nice. Maybe it's a fake color, but it looks nice. <laughs> the color looks so weird to me. That's one of the first things I, I noticed about this one. Mike. Wow. How come it's so red in the bottle, but it's uh, kind of brownish on the outside? Uh, just you're seeing more of it. I guess. But, Mike, while you uh, no do your nosing thing and... All that stuff. I might, I might be getting some New York on you, cause uh, I don't have a lot of good things to say about Templeton Rye. You've had this before. The company. Oh. Um, first things first. I do want to say thank you to Rick Irvine. He's the one who donated this bottle. He loves it so far. <laughs> so I had Mike read the story on the back of the label. Be there's a whole story about how Al Capone loved Templeton Rye and that they were doing a Prohibition era um, recipe and all this stuff that goes along with this. Made in Iowa. Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Yada, yada, yada. Well, Mike, we actually lucked out with this particular bottle. Because this actually still says Prohibition Era Recipe. That means it's an old bottle. Old enough that it's before their class action lawsuit. Oh, they were sued over this? They were sued <laughs> because of the bullshit they were feeding gotcha. its customers. Not only in the story, but the label. The label making it sound like it's made in Iowa. And it says nothing about, it says produced and bottled by Templeton Rye in Iowa. says nothing about that it's actually MGP. MGP is in Indiana. They make the juice. So it's a 95% rye, 5% barley make. Now this color. Well, it's phony as shit. That's first and foremost. You can get some sunlight. It's, there it's like radioactive looking when you look at it. Oh, it's kind of pretty. <laughs> um, the nose smells super sweet, right? I do. It smells like cherry cough syrup. It smells like, like soda or, I mean, it just has like a really artificial smell. It does. It's well, not good. that would be because this Prohibition era recipe it includes modern technology. This is not just a whiskey that was produced and bar barreled and aged. This has artificial engineering in God. the Claritin Flavor Engineering Company is the one who flavored this whiskey. Claritin? Claritin Flavor Engineering is the name of the company. So this is an artificial okay. flavor formulation that gives it the flavor that we're getting. Uh, the flavor that we're getting? You want to segue in it? Uh, the flavor I'm getting is nothing but crap. <laughs> Um, it, it tastes completely artificial. It tastes, uh, very industrial. Um, it's 40%, I think is what it was. It's the bare minimum. Yeah. It's 40%. Yeah, 40%, but it tastes like nothing but rubbing alcohol, alcohol, and some sweet cherry juice. Like the, the type of artificial flavoring you would get from artificial sweeteners, right? Yeah. It's like it's got horrid. that weird. Well, there is a little loophole when it comes to rye whiskey that you can't do if it was a bourbon or anything like that. It has to be a rye. For some reason, TTP allows you to have up to 2.5% flavorings okay. added to your recipe. Okay. Clearly, they're, they're taking it to the max. They hit their 2.5%. And you got to remember, it's a deeply concentrated industrial flavoring formulation so two and a half percent when it's a concentration yeah. can do a lot to the flavor it did it did that's why like people might be thinking like what's the big deal about that it's because they're lying to us they're making it seem like they made it a certain way like the 1920s recipe but they didn't yeah. there was no artificial flavoring formulation in the 20s right this is something that came out recently so there was a class action lawsuit they lost they lost millions of dollars over it they had to pay back customers for, who purchased bottles, and their new label basically does say that it's uh, 
distilled in Indiana. It has to acknowledge that. So this and it took away the Prohibition era recipe. That's if anything, on, yeah. this is a collector's bottle. I doubt it. I mean, the way they uh, mass produce this stuff, I doubt there'd be any value in it. Pretty sure other people were pissed off once they opened this up and had a swig of it. Mm -hmm. uh, this stuff is, uh, it's a turd, unfortunately. Go with the score. Let's just. It's a turd. Uh, it's its down there at the one for me. It's a wow, turd. Wow, it's this that is, bad. This is toky to me. And maybe because I'm Ooh. sick, but it this could is be, toky to me. It could be because you're sick. This is a turd. Here's the deal I almost don't want to give a score because I feel it's unfair. We review whiskey here. This is practically flavored whiskey. Like, I know there's a legal distinction. They say anything of up to 2.5% yeah. doesn't have to distinctly say that it's flavored whiskey. But let's be real. We're tasting the flavoring. So it's almost unfair to give a score. But if... It's if, fair to me. If this was distilled real, like it actually was aged and processed this way, even at that point, my flavor, my taste buds tell me this is about a 4. Hey, look, they, they want to call it whiskey. We're going to review it as whiskey. It sucks. Yeah. It's, it's way too fake to be enjoyable. Well, I mean, what I'm saying is we're, we review whiskeys. You're never going to see us review something like Fireball because Fireball's not a whiskey. It's a flavored whiskey, and flavored whiskey is a separate category. It's not the same alcohol. They sound similar, but they're legally not the same category. Yeah, I'm not a fan. So I'm not a fan. this is almost in the same category as Fireball. Okay. Almost. Well, it smells better now. It does. It pulled out some of the, the rye. And rye come, sometimes smells like dill pickles or rye bread and things like that. Yeah. So it pulled out a little bit of that rye. I'm still getting sweet. Not cherry sweet, though, anymore. Yeah. I'm yeah, getting more... Uh, it actually does smell a lot better. Yeah, I'm getting more caramel sweet. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Let's be hopeful. Yes, let's be very hopeful because this smells like it's going to be a lot better. What the hell is that? That's the rye. This is, is the it? first time that we've ever reviewed a rye for the channel. So you're actually not used to it. Uh, but rye does have that little bit of a spicy note on the tongue. Hmm. So it's pulling out some of the, almost like a dill pickle type of. Yeah. So there are certain ryes hmm. that it actually tastes like dill pickles, like Pikesville. Oh my God. It sounds so weird, but it's so delicious. It actually tastes like a dill pickle. But uh, this, I gotta say, this is probably the second time that I'm going to say this, but I prefer it with water. It's a lot more drinkable. Yeah. I'll bump it up to a four. It's more drinkable now. Uh, I, I can't say that I'm enjoying it, mm -hmm. but I can tell you that it's drinkable. I, that's, yeah. Mm. I'm bumping it up a little bit. Not quite a five. Let's call it a 4.7. It's it's way better than it was. Yeah. Neat. But let's move on to the third and final. Try not to give Templeton too much a Oops, sorry about that. Yeah, let's let's just let's, get through this one. Let's just move on. Let's get through this one. This one's not pleasant for me. Because even is... though they've been sued, they're, the only thing that really changed for them is that they had to distinctly say that it's made in Indiana, and they had to take out this Prohibition era recipe. Other than that, they're still making it the same way. They're, if it wasn't for the class action lawsuit, they would have never had the transparency on their own, and that's why I don't respect them. You hear me say it all the time. I want a company to be transparent, like a company like Compass Box, a company like Rabbit Hole, who tells you where it came from, what's in yeah. it, right? It's nice. It's nice. Um, I got nothing on the it on the weird. nose. I got nothing. I got ice. No, and, that just smells weird. Yeah, ice and like cleaning chemicals. Mm. It's not pleasant. Maybe the ice um, pulls out that artificial it flavor might engineering. I didn't really care for it. Tasting it was ju that could be the worst thing I've tasted on this channel that that's horrible I, I it is weird once you put it on ice it definitely got very chemical like i don't know how people drink this on ice i'm sure I'm, we're going to have some comments from people like hey that's my preferred way of drinking it i love it on ice i don't know it tastes like like artificial chemicals it's weird yeah, that's, that's i have brutal. to do the same score as mike this is a one now yeah. i'm not finishing this throw it over the shoulder salute with that being said that was harsh. Fuck you, Templeton Rye. Hey, you're gonna bullshit. <laughs> I respect companies that are transparent. You had to get sued just to show a little bit of transparency. Not digging you. Yeah. 
I can't I can't suggest this for anything. <laughs> I wouldn't even suggest cleaning your bathroom with this one. This it's is it's bad. probably in the ballpark of a twenty five dollar bottle ish somewhere it's, in that ballpark. If they pay me twenty five, I'll take it. I won't drink it, but I'll take it. This stuff's not good. Two guys being real, <clears throat> reviewing whiskeys, whether they're good or not. I'm not even one real. sick. No. <laughs> it doesn't even get any more camera time. Get that shit out of here. Sick chopsticks.